Good morning. It is Tuesday. And I'm headed to work. Didn't go yesterday. I was sick and just coming on to say hi. Uh, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, you like something about my channel, go ahead and subscribe. But um yeah, so uh not very much happening. Just I live in Louisiana and our governor. Former Governor Kathleen Babineau Blanco, she was actually our governor when, uh, during Katrina, uh, she passed. She was such a, uh, a sweet lady. The first female governor we ever had in Louisiana, we're well, the only, you yeah, the only one we've had. But you know, she uh, was subjected to a lot of criticism during Katrina. But Katrina was an anomaly. We never had had a storm like that. I don't think since I, well, I know since I've been alive. And you know, at that time, remember they had Mike Brown, who was over, who was the director of FEMA, and he had been uh, like over a quartermaster club or something. So, you know, the thing about some a situation like that is something you've ever experienced. It's a learning situation is a learning curve for everybody if you go into a brand new situation something you never experienced it's going to be trial and error and i'm sure as the governor I'm, i know she made the best decision she could based on the information that she had but i remember taking a, a louisiana history class at lsu and the professor he, he was brilliant with the louisiana history seriously um I'm telling you, he knew history like the back of his hand. But anyway, he said it. He said New Orleans, New Orleans is nothing but a bowl. He said if there's ever a category of four or five hurricane, it's going to flood. He said it was already predicted. You know? But uh, that's why I, on my job, I try to be proactive. I try to address things. I don't wait until something happens and react. I try to, you know, think of what happens if this happens and how do we react what do we do and a lot of times you get resistance from people where it's like oh why do you want to do that because it's a reason behind it you don't want to be stuck in a situation you don't know what to do but sometimes it has sometimes you know hey god does what he wants when he wants so some we sometimes well anytime he does what he wants and we're not familiar we just gonna have to adjust yeah so she served one term as governor and um, she didn't serve anymore. But a beautiful lady, beautiful spirit. My prayers are with her family. Um, and all of those legislators, leaders, and uh, that work with her. Yeah, Governor Blanco's family is in my prayers. Um, I always say this, I've said this time and time again let people know that you appreciate them while they are here because no matter what you do or say now she can't hear it so that's what i say about those that's negative and always got something bad to say you don't know how your words could uplift or deflate someone else's uh disposition so I always try to think positive and I always try to give positive vibes in every situation you understand because hey I ain't perfect either I've made mistakes as a leader sometimes you're gonna make mistakes everybody's not gonna like it may not be the most uh, receptive decisions that you make um, but like I had this uh, director one time he said you know he said if it's illegal unethical immoral or discriminatory I'm not gonna do it and he stuck to that and I had the utmost respect for him because he did that and he said that I had the utmost respect for him yeah but anyway y'all I'm headed to work I just wanted to come on Governor Blanco's family you have my sympathy we appreciate your service governor and may you rest in peace Y'all, have a fantastic Tuesday. 
to all my shining stars. Let your light be a beacon of hope to those who are struggling. Stay positive. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Be blessed. Bye.